Mastering the magic of voiced and voiceless sounds in English. Hello and welcome, English learners. Today we are going to unlock one of the keys to perfecting your English pronunciation. Distinguishing between voiced and voiceless sounds. This is a common challenge that non-native speakers face, but don't worry. By the end of this video, you'll understand these concepts, and you'll be well on your way to reducing your accent and sounding more like a native speaker. So what exactly are voiced and voiceless sounds? To put it simply, a voiced sound is produced when the vocal cords vibrate. On the other hand, voiceless sounds are produced without any vibration of the vocal cords. A simple test to identify whether a sound is voiced or voiceless is the throat test. Place your hand on your throat as you pronounce a sound. If you feel a vibration, it's a voiced sound. If not, it's voiceless. Non-native speakers often confuse voiced and voiceless sounds. This is particularly true for sounds that are pairs, meaning they are produced in the same part of the mouth. Examples of these pairs include B and P, D and T and G and K. For instance, native Spanish speakers may struggle to distinguish between B and V, as these sounds are often interchangeable in their native language. Similarly, Japanese speakers may find R and L challenging as these sounds are not distinctly differentiated in Japanese. Practicing the distinction between these sounds is crucial in overcoming these pronunciation challenges. Let's try some exercises. First, let's practice the B and P sounds. Try saying bat and then pat. Do you feel the vibration for B but not for P? Remember, the B is voiced and the P is voiceless. Let's try another pair. D and T. Say do and then two. Again, the D is voiced and T is voiceless. The more you practice, the better you'll get at distinguishing these sounds. That's all for today, language learners. With practice and patience, you'll soon master the distinction between voiced and voiceless sounds. Remember, these sounds are the building blocks of English pronunciation, and by focusing on them, you're well on your way to perfecting your English speaking skills. Keep practicing, and as always, happy learning!